Hey guys, today we're going to take a look at the CB20W transistor. It's a drop-in replacement for the discontinued Mitsubishi 2 SC1969 transistor. You've probably seen a couple of these on YouTube already. Uh, we're going to do one here in the States. Um, so we've got a bird watt meter here. It's a 6156 bird watt meter. We've got a Cobra 148 GTL. And below we have three transistors. Um, I'm going to try to edit in that snapshot of them. On the left we have an original Mitsubishi 2SC 1969. In the middle we have uh, the ones you're getting on eBay now and getting ripped off on the counterfeit um, transistors that people are passing off as 1969s. In the photo you can see they even put a Mitsubishi logo on it and uh, even put 1969 on them. And on the right we have the CB20W transistor uh, which is being marketed as a 2SC 1969 as well. So we're going to put this together. We've got the uh, 148, like I stated, with a single jumper going into the bird watt meter. It's got a built-in dummy load, if you're familiar with this model. Um, and we've set up, let me zoom in on that a bit, right where the output final goes on the bottom of the board. We went ahead and used um, a little uh, jumper setup with a socket so we can just quick change these... Uh, these transistors into that and then do a test on it. Now the bird watt meter is set to a 4 watt scale. I'm going to get a good picture of that when we get started here. Um, we're using the black scale across the top of the meter. Alright, so we're going to get started. You'll notice the socket in the back is empty. So we'll go ahead and key it up. And you'll see the bird watt meter is doing nothing. Dead flat. Alright, so we're going to start with the original Mitsubishi 2SC 1969. Go ahead. Slide that into our socket, get back framed up here, and again we're on the 4 watt scale across the top. Got an exact 4 watt dead key with the Mitsubishi. Okay, we'll pop that one out. Now we're going to grab the counterfeit one, which is in the middle. This is the one that's marked as a 2SC 1969 as well. that one in there. We're going to key up, 4 watt scale. We'll unkey. We'll key again. So you'll see it's less than a tenth of a watt on these things. This is what people are getting pissed off about. It barely moves the meter movement. Alright, so we'll pop that one out. And now we're going to put in the CB20W transistor, which is our new drop-in replacement for the discontinued Sam, uh, sorry, Mitsubishi chip. Again, we're on the 4 watt scale. Boom, 4 watts. So we're getting the exact same output out of this without any manipulation of the idle current or anything else that goes on with these things when you align them. Um, it's definitely important you want to know that they are a little bit different from the 2SC 1969s from Mitsubishi. They do require a little bit of alignment, but otherwise they're completely drop in and you get full power out of them unlike these uh, counterfeit chips you're finding on eBay. Thanks for your time. Stress test over here at John Boy's Shack up here in the northwest corner, 73s.